right before the results of this year's competition were announced. The national winner from last year, Rima Shinoi, a Year 13 student of Queen Margaret College in Wellington, formally returned the shield that her school had been holding for the past year. She returned it to Superintendent Wallace Homaha from the New Zealand Police, the principal sponsors of the Race Unity Speech Awards. To sit here this evening as a sponsor of this shield for the New Zealand Police since 2008 and look back over the names that appear on this shield, it's been an awesome, awesome experience for the New Zealand Police to be a part of. We need to share what these young people have to say on a much grander scale. And there are people out there just, you know, who should listen. And just before we announce the results of this year's competition, here's a little flashback to each of our eight wonderful finalists. <laughs> I believe in education, education at home, education in schools and education in our communities. We need to learn more about our various cultures. It is a cruel realisation to face that you are already born into a world bound by prejudice and with it surrounding us constantly we begin to believe it ourselves. I believe that racism is created by what we see happening in society and what we learn as we grow up. You don't get delivered from your mother's womb and immediately start offending the nurses, do you? Strip everybody down. See the bleached white bones of a human in everyone so you can see and respect their cultures without preconceived ideas or stereotypes. There is strength in unity. There is strength in diversity. Together, unity through diversity. Before we can fully embrace all of the benefits of multiculturalism, we must take a step back and fully embody all of the principles and responsibilities of biculturalism. In the future I envision, we are not defined by our ethnicity. We are enriched by it, certainly. But it is never a measure of our value as individuals. And our national runner-up was the youngest student in this year's final of the Race Unity Speech Awards on the topic, My Dream for Aotearoa New Zealand. Year 11 student from Logan Park High School in Dunedin, Jacoby Kohu Morris. For someone so young, for someone who's travelled probably the furthest in terms of this final, to present us with views that were so clear and, and comfortable in the use of your language, both te reo and, um, and in English, and the ability to reach every single one in this room. Congratulations. And the winner is Naomi Kumar, a Year 13 student from Hillcrest High School in Hamilton, with a wonderful speech. Into, the, into her delivery, you could not hear a sound from anyone. One of the um, things is she absolutely captured this whole room. She drew them into, you all into her heart. She drew you into her message. And I know Hillcrest Hamilton and Hamilton will be really pleased because last year they were runners up. <laughs>
just like to um, say I feel very, very privileged and honoured to be up here as the recipient of um, the trophy this year. It's, it's been a very long journey, um, but I really couldn't have done it without the support of my community, my school, my family and the beautiful, beautiful people I've met along the way. And everyone, I think, I c everyone can agree with me that we're all winners, really. I mean, the fact that we've come up here as a group and talked about personal experiences and how um, it's relevant to us youth, us people as a whole. Um, yeah, just it's amazing. Thank you. <laughs>